Oh, okay, that's better. Hey! <laughs> All right. Um, Will, I know you are super busy. I know you guys are wrapping production here. Season nine's coming to a close, right? Season nine's pretty much aired. We're kind of starting into season 10, so uh, it's all good. Awesome. Very cool. Well, um, yeah, I really appreciate you again taking time out of your day uh, to chat with us for a few minutes here. Um, so we just saw the Faro 3D scanner on the tour from uh, Jordan and Greg. I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about how you guys are using 3D scanning and printing at the Kindig shop. Um. The whole scanning thing is like, oh, being able to see through walls because because we can scan the door, scan what's inside the room, close the door and still see everything. So so you can imagine what that's changed for us in uh, under the hood kind of items and uh, under the dash kind of items where where. You know, we're trying to package stuff pretty tightly at times and and it gets difficult to just save room for paint, I guess you might say. <laughs> yeah. So it's a kind of a, a magic thing and uh, it, it's worked out extremely well for us. And then on the 3D printer side, um, you know, we can print stuff that we can't even machine. So so that opens the door for you know, magic. And, and I know you know that those little printers can do miraculous things, uh, especially on the resin side. And, uh, and let's, let's talk about scalability, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can design something and we can uh, reverse engineer whatever, and then we can make it the size we want to. And, and uh, I know that helps in your land. Yeah, absolutely. And it's amazing to be able to print something, go test it out in your build and make adjustments on the fly, you know, make adjustments to the scale as needed and reprint it until you have it right. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's the other part of it is the yeah. printer will work, work overnight, build you something, you can come in and, oh, it's a little off and, and set it running again. Yeah, I love robots. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of scale stuff, uh, Sterling told me that you also are into small scale autos, models and well, RC stuff. Well, um, let me tell you a quick story. When I was, uh, I was probably four or five, I had a um, babysitter come over, young gentleman, and he brought a ramp truck and it was like a 124 scale truck. And uh it had these little ramps that went from the ramps to the ground. And um, I said, did those come in the kit too? He said, no, I made those. And I think that was super huge and pivotal for me to understand that, no, you can make things and, and just get creative and, and get it done. And ever since then, you know, first started with disassembling everything and then, uh, and then models, and then I think I got my first RC, you know, scale, one-tenth scale uh, uh, car, a uh, sand scorcher when I was 11. All right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just been rolling ever since. And I still enjoy the daylights out of them. You know, you can you can own 10 of them in the space that you can own half a car. So, <laughs> right. so and, and half the money, if, if not sure. way less than that. <laughs> And, and so it allows us to dream, you know, I mean, I was buying Hot Wheels for a little while just for the fact that, look, I can own every one of those cars. And then uh, and then it got a little excessive and I got rid of some of them. But but uh, yeah, I love I love cars, period. And so to have one sitting on a shelf that you can stare at and enjoy and put the time in and. Uh, it's just amazing, you know, especially what's come around in uh, the last few years with the resin printers uh you know your um what 124 scale being able to create that stuff in in bringing it to reality that's incredible yeah awesome very cool um well i know you're busy i don't want to keep you too much longer i did want to just see for the for the people watching the the fans of the show do you have a personal favorite car that you guys have built on the show um geez uh 
they're they're kind of all my babies so it's really hard to pick a favorite i don't want to make any one of them mad at me and um but you know there's some highlights i mean way back in the day there's the boss mustang uh that thing was really huge for us uh and another one that was huge for us way back before the show was the uh 60 what the heck what is uh, what year was it it doesn't matter a blue bel air bella was what we called it and that was our uh, first big build lights and mirrors and, you know, going to the show. So so that was huge for us. And then really, I mean, lately we've been doing incredible stuff with these uh, just insane engines and the modern power that's being made out there now. I mean, uh, to think of anything over 500 horsepower the whole time I was growing up, I mean, you must have been a millionaire. And then, and now 500 horsepower is like just the norm. So yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, it's all just fun. And uh, I'm digging what you guys are doing. I guess you're uh, holding a uh, contest here today. We are. Yeah. We're doing a hot rod, rat rod build off. We have uh, three builders that submitted four entries. That's cool. And that's all local to your area there? Um, No, this is worldwide. We have members all around the world. Oh, wow. Very cool. Yeah. I attended a uh, one of the big uh, regional uh, championships here in, uh, in uh, Salt Lake um, about three, four years ago. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for another one to come around. Awesome. That's uh, GSL. I think you're probably talking about that's happening uh, the first weekend in May. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Awesome. Well, we'll catch <laughs> up with you there then. Uh, I just wanted to see if you had any last uh, parting thoughts for the guys that entered our build off. Oh, you know what? Good luck, man. I mean, uh, and just keep striving for that next great build. You know, that's that's all you can do. I love it. Awesome. Will, thank you so much for your time today. We look forward to catching up with you in May at GSL. Right on. Thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate it. See ya. See ya.